we're gonna show you how easy it is to use the forearm forklift. Now, this item has space underneath it, so we're just threading it through the legs. If this item was flat, we just tip and kick the straps to get them underneath. Now, we exchange the strap at the front so that they never ever slip out. So now we're actually sharing straps. They're just crossed underneath. What you're seeing us do now is put our hands on the piece of furniture, strap on our forearms, back straight, ready to lift, one, two, three, and all we're doing is just standing straight up. Boy, I'll tell you, the leverage these employ make it feel so easy. How does it feel, babe? It feels great. <laughs> now, here we go. We're gonna manage this through this narrow doorway. Easy breezy, don't wanna scratch anything, don't wanna bang anything up. The amount of control you have because it makes it easy is amazing. That was a big S turn right there. Thank you, babe. Great job. Now, as you'll see, she wants it right here, and I agree it's gonna look a lot better, but there are steps. Check this out. She goes right up the steps too. So here's another thing my wife on the honeydew list. Really easy too. It's a big, thick armchair to get the straps underneath. You just thread them and you wanna make sure that they're all the way out the back. Easy breezy. Then I take the front of the strap and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exchange it with my wife because even though they're not gonna slip out past these bun feet, it's always good to make practice of putting them in an X underneath the item that you're about to lift. So now I'm going to go down to one lower, put my hands flat in front of me, and when I'm ready to lift, my back is straight, my head is up, one, two, three, straight up. Now, as you can see, the leverage makes it feel so easy. How does that feel? Imagine yourself doing this at home with your son, with your daughter, easy breezy. Now, we're gonna navigate it through this last arch and she wants it in here, so see how it turns out. Uh, this is just a 
up close look at this big old Tycon snatch block. I'll put a rating here on the screen for how many pounds is good for. If you haven't used a snatch block before, it's really pretty straight up. You will just attach this thing first to your rope. So the first thing you do is open it up, hook your rope through there, and you're good to go. So your rope's good to go. Then you just have to make your attachment to your vehicle or your tree or whatever. So in this case, I'm just uh, tied off to my trailer hitch. And then I've got my sling. But if you're gonna get a snatch block, I would really recommend you get a couple of shackles. They're just gonna make your life a lot easier. The deal with the shackle is that you can easily then connect your snatch block to anything. This is a, a rated toe strap. You could connect it to a rope. At that point, your snatch block is ready to be loaded and you can redirect your load or you can just create a mechanical advantage. Uh, size wise, this snatch block is pretty much the biggest I've got. I've got some other ones that I use on three quarter inch line and this one is even beefier. Like it's just the hugest of the snatch blocks. I really haven't seen one bigger. It's also got a grease port so you can put a Zerk fitting on here and grease it if you need to. It doesn't seem to need it. Like it's got some lubrication in there. And personally, I've always just sprayed some WD-40 in there. Also with the pin spanner, you could open up this uh, ring here, pull it apart and disassemble this whole guy if you wanted to. What I like about it is it's just overrated. You could, I think, run a three quarter inch to one inch line in here. I don't think it's set up for one inch line, but it's there's definitely room in there that you could get it in there if you needed to. Taking a quick look at the Tycon snatch block. This is the 10 ton snatch block on Amazon. You can see just uh, pivots around here. Feels absolutely fantastic. Really good build quality. I thought I'd just show quick. Got my air hose here just to demonstrate. Wrap that around and then just simply flip it back up and you're in business. So really cool product seems to uh, be really well built. just bought this hand truck on Amazon and I think it's gonna be super useful when I'm moving the heavy objects around the office 
comes with uh, six casters and I just want to insert them like so. I think these are the same, yeah. About two inches. Okay, actually let's measure the uh, size of the casters. These are, yes, two inches. That's all I need for installation. No tools required. And it comes with the bungee cords too. Oh, pretty smooth. Yeah, that's the bungee cords it came with. Two, uh, actually four hooks. Now let's take it off for a spin. Extends, folds up, and uh, let's see. Press this, press this button to extend the handle. Locks, locks in, yeah. All right, let's try this. Pretty smooth. Most of the time I probably just don't need the handle at all. Maybe I can just do this. Don't you really need it extended? Now it's much, much easier to carry the bigger stuff, super heavy. Well, looks like, um, yeah, it's, it will not stay uh, vertical. This is totally flexible. It cannot lock in. I don't see an option to lock it in the vertical position. And it's just like this, which I, I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. And it stores under the desk. The desk is about 27 and three quarter inches tall. A pretty standard IKEA height. Okay. Yeah, I like it. And fold it. Let's try this. Have to push it outside and fold it like so. Very, very portable. And this, there's nothing holding this thing to, together. So it's kind of, uh, you know, it's easy to pull it out. And I don't have to use it, uh, use the handle. I just do this, it's also acceptable. I think that's a quick and easy way to use the hand truck. Um, to move my bat big battery around. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.